<laughs> yo, 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 people, what is going on? This is like a Spark Killer. Welcome back to the episode of Would You Rather. There is no special guest. There is no face cam. Why? Because I do not look presentable. Goodness, my makeup's all wrong. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but seriously, I look like garbage. My hair isn't done. Uh, yeah, I, I care about what I look like, okay? All right, so here we go. First question. Would you rather attempt to survive a computer uprising, aka the Terminator, or attempt to survive a zombie outbreak, Dawn of the Dead? Okay, so, Terminator style stuff, you cannot kill unless you have an EMP. But, if they are the Terminator type stuff, they will already know that you are gonna try to kill them with an EMP and they will stop you from getting to the EMP. Zombies are just zombies. They're they're there. I'm thinking that if like a zombie outbreak happened, like let's just say per chance, some small town is a zombie fied. Do you not think uh, yawn with me? Do you know do you not think that the military would go to said city and bomb the snot out of it and say, whoa! -ho -ho! Not today. There's not gonna be any kind of zombie outbreak. You can control a zombie outbreak if there's a tur as if there's a computer uprising. M most, if not all, people are dumber than computers that have their own intelligence that learns. Like Terminator's not like, oh, let me type in run command and then quickly stop it and shut it down. There is no power cord with the Terminator. He is his own self-sustained business. I'm gonna go ahead and go with Dawn of the Dead. 71% of the people agree with me. Yeah, I think that's a logical choice. Would you rather, or if you could, would you rather... Oh, wait, hold on. Let me see what this one said. Oh, it didn't say anything. Okay. Um, let me see. So it said, you would not be able to profit financially from either. So would you rather end world hunger or find a cure for cancer? Hmm. End world hunger or find a cure for cancer. I don't know, man. Like, I'm trying to think of all the, uh... Um... I'm trying to think of all, like, the... The... The things that we have to feed people. Like, okay, we have a homeless people, and we have hungry people. Why don't we just feed the homeless people to the hungry people? Voila! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but seriously... That, man, that's just... I mean, I'm trying to think of what we could do if we found a cure for cancer. I mean, that would be money. Instead of spending all this money to go to cancer, we'd figure out how to end world hunger. But also, if we ended world hunger, all the money and all the financial aid and everything would go towards finding a cure for cancer. I think I would rather try to find a, f a cure for cancer. Why? Because cancer is a dastardly disease that is very unforgiving and very unrelenting. Sure, there's world hunger, but I feel like that's, uh, it's inevitable because some people don't live in, um, places that get food. Like, it's, I'm not trying to sound cold-hearted, but that's just the way it is. I mean, they were born in impoverished nations through no fault of their own, but that's just the way it is. I mean, there's people all over the place that are hungry. But I think I would rather find cancer because cancer is very... Maybe I'm just saying this because I'm biased because I don't really have the threat of going hungry. I guess people over in Africa, if you asked them this question, if you said, Yo, you want to end world hunger or do you want to find a cure for cancer? They would be like, Oh, please end world hunger because I only had a piece of bread the past week. I mean, I think I want to go for kind of fi find a cure for cancer. And then hopefully through synthetic and uh, chemically engineering we can make enough food for the hungry so that we're not putting all of our resources into finding a cure for cancer I'm still surprised that we haven't found a cure for cancer yet like that's mind-boggling now uh, cancer is like one of the top 10 like knock you out disease like that's huh what the heck are we spending our money on oh that's right stupid sports <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with find a cure for cancer. That's very controversial. I know some people are gonna be like, Zach, you should have said in world hunger. I think I'm gonna go with find a cure for cancer because I'm not 
I'm not in the whole end world hunger mindset. Like I'm, I'm not under the threat of going hungry. But I am under the threat of having cancer. I mean, that's a very real possibility. So I think I'm gonna go with find a cure for cancer. What do you guys think? Huh? 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 I think I'm gonna go with find a cure for cancer. Ooh, that's almost split right down the middle. It's 40 to 60. Maybe everybody that voted cure for cancer, they have somebody in their life that had cancer. I mean, I watched some lady go through cancer and oh, that is vicious. Moving on, upbeat. Hand soap has no effect. Would you rather have your fingers always covered in barbecue sauce or have your fingers always covered in Doritos nacho cheese? <laughs> I'd go with Doritos nacho cheese flavoring. Why? Because it doesn't really, I mean, it comes off a little bit, but if you have barbecue sauce, like that is getting on everything. There is nothing that you can do that will stop that. Oh, 71%. Yeah, that's right. Ooh, would you rather eat 50 celery sticks every day or 50 Brussels definitely celery sticks? Are you kidding me? I don't even know what a Brussels sprout is. No, I'm just kidding. But Brussels sprouts are apparently really gross. I've never had one. So, would you rather have loved and lost or never loved at all? Of course, the quote is it's better to have loved and lost than to never have loved at all. But loving and losing is very, 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 very tragic. I mean, I was reading a story about someone whose uh, spouse died and oh my god I would freak out like the person you love is the person you want to spend the rest of your life with like you can't imagine being without them and then they're gone holy monkeys what a mind freak never loved at all I mean you, you don't know what you're missing it's pretty much what it boils down to I think I would rather have never have loved at all wait if, can cat get angry at me for that <laughs> Are you saying you don't love me? Are you saying you don't want to love me? Did I force you to marry me? See, that's what's coming down. See, married people need to think about that stuff. <laughs> I think... Cat, don't get mad at me if you watch this. I think I'm gonna go with never loved at all. Yeah. Oh, man. Those kind of... Uh, it's just so... You on with me? It's just so heartbreaking. Oh, it stinks going through a breakup and stuff like that. And it just stinks. I mean, you get over it, but they're still in the back of your mind. You're just like, uh, I, w I wish that I would love and stay in love, and then that's it. Not love and lost. Would you rather become a superhero or become a supervillain? The power is neutral. It can be used for either good or evil equally. I think that me and Bebop answered this, and I think the, the census was become a supervillain because they have all the cooler gadgets. But I mean, if it's a superhero like Iron Man, I'm definitely going with superhero. But if it's a super villain, I mean, like, what would be, uh, like, what would be a, a really good super villain? Like, um, Mysterio, I think, would he be a good super villain? The Joker? Would, I mean, that's just based on Heath Ledger. I'm getting really, like, philosophical with these. God, Zach, quit thinking so much. God, freaking superhero, super villain. Um, I'm gonna go with, if it's superhero Iron Man and super villain, mm, pick one. I think I'm gonna go with superhero, because that's just the way that I am. I think Bebop's thing was super villain because he could have other cool toys. Would you rather have a lightsaber or a helper monkey? A legit Star Wars lightsaber or a helper monkey that would do anything for you? Freaking monkeys rip your face off. No thanks. Definitely a lightsaber. Why? Because then I could be like, oh, what is this? I need to take down this house. Oh my god, Zach has a lightsaber. What's wrong? <laughs> Would you rather be married to a morbidly obese and ugly person who is incredibly wealthy or be married to a gorgeous person on welfare or, or geo -gers? Um, wait, is that how you spell gorgeous? That's not how you spell gorgeous, is it? Let me say gorgeous, gorgeous. No, it's not how you spell gorgeous. <sighs> be married to a morbidly obese and ugly. So basically it's, um, would you rather be married to an ugly rich person or a pretty person that's poor? I would think it says their personalities are equal. So they could be incredibly mean or they could be incredibly nice, but they're both the same. So you can be a super mean, fat, ugly person who's rich or a super mean, gorgeous person that's not. I think I would like to go with 
the gorgeous person on welfare. Why? Because you could oh my, oh my god. Ugh. Yawn with me. Because you can always build from the ground up. Like if, so, if somebody's on welfare, okay, cool. Let's get a house together. Let's both get jobs. Let's do our business. Instead of an, an uh, ugly fat person. I mean, but maybe they could die soon. And then you'll just inherit all their money. And then you could get the gorgeous person off of welfare. That's, is that shallow? Is that mean? Is that something mean to say? You kind of hope this person dies so you can take all their money? I think it's going to mean. <laughs> I think I'm going to go with gorgeous. Why? Because money isn't that important. Yeah, so I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to go with this, uh, be married to a gorgeous person who's on welfare. I think I'm going to have to go with that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. Oh, 79%. Wow, look at that. To almost half a million people. Wealth isn't that important. Last one. Oh, God. You may die. That's the thing. <laughs> Would you rather get swine flu or West Nile? <sighs> I think I'm going to go with swine flu. Why? Because, like, only two people or, like, six people that got swine flu died out of, like, the 200,000 or whatever. But West Nile, I, I think the death tolls were a little bit up there. I think I'm going to go with Swine Flu. Whichever one is the one that made you die less. I mean, West Nile was crazy. I mean, West Nile just sounds bad. Swine Flu is like, ah, oh, just a flu from a peg. Yeah, look at that. Come on now. Let's be real. Bare skin. Oh my gosh. So there is no protectant. Light your hands on fire for a minute or light your feet on fire for a minute? Oh my god, dude, that's a long time. I would rather light my feet on fire for a minute. Why? Because I use my hands for everything. My feet, I could walk around with... Oh, dude, that would... Oh, god, that would... Oh, god, yeah, light my feet on fire. All right, guys, but that's it. We've been going on long enough. This video is already late because I was kind of procrastinating. I was like, eh, I don't want to do a video, but I have to. All right, but as of right now, looks like our time is up. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Leave a comment below whatever you are thinking. And I will see you guys next time. Peace!